failure to communicate that goes on a lot. And we look at things in a human aspect too much. We do something and we take for granted that that dog should understand what you're trying to show them. But the biggest thing I see a little bit is I see reactions from handlers, physical reactions or corrections and this, that, and the other. And the dog has never been given a chance to even start with it. They get corrected and then they get, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I think it's really important to have clear, clear communication as far as if you expect the dog to see something. So for somebody today, the dog was going to do something. He went, ah, 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 what, what, what are you doing? And what does that mean? Anybody? Does anybody know what that means? Blah, 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 blah. The dog does the behavior. Is he trying to communicate to you that he don't understand? I think he is. And I think that's where a lot of us miss the boat a little bit is. We don't try and take in what they're trying to tell us. So my point being there is, let's don't be so quick to beat the dog up. Let's think about what to call him to do it. Take the information he's trying to give us and then work on it from there. That's a form of communication also, but it's a negative form for the dog. In other words, the dog is saying to you, yes, I know what you want me to do, but I will not do it right now because of whatever. Then you have to make a decision to you. Whether you're gonna let that go or you're going to say, at least give me what I know you know. It's in front of us. Well, for some reason, we just walked off that one. I ain't figured out to this day why he does it. I've asked him, don't tell me. <laughs> I'll accept a lot when I'm trying to teach a dog something, okay? If I'm trying to teach you something and you say to me, 